Hey everyone, this is Aaron from Fusion 360. I'm joined by Bryce today. We're here to talk about the September release. What's something that you're excited about? I'm super excited about the finite element analysis that we're bringing inside of Fusion, just like any other workspace you have in Fusion 360, like CAM. Right, yeah, so adding to CAM, we now have the ability to test our products before you go to production, and ensure that they're able to withstand the forces that they need to be able to withstand. Exactly, exactly, it's gonna save you a lot of money. Let's go ahead and see, check it out right now. Let's take a look at the new simulation functionality found in the September release of Fusion 360. Here we have a design in which you'd like to analyze. To reduce the expense of the solve, we'll filter down to the major structural members. Selection sets make this a breeze. Then, from my analysis interface, I can begin studies to solve for either modal, frequency, or static stress. Within each study type, settings for automated element quality, size, and refinement make using this tool simple yet powerful. Inside the study, I can suppress the bodies hidden earlier and begin applying the boundary conditions. Starting with loads, I can apply these with unrivaled flexibility related to the exact location and direction, and even define an area in which to apply the force. Next up, constraints, a crucial step to secure the model. Then, contacts. Once the thorn in the side of design engineers, contacts in Fusion 360 are handled masterfully. Small interferences no longer bring the setup to a screeching halt, and automatic contact creation ensures an effortless setup. For any contacts missed, as is the case where proper tolerances are defined or when parts are suppressed, the contact visualization and degree of freedom view make it simple to find missing connections, as body transparency intelligently adjusts to selections. With that dealt with, all that is left is to mesh and solve. As we have toggled an automatic refinement, this will mesh and solve not just once, but until the design criterion is met, fostering higher accuracy. After solving completes, the rich content you'd expect from the powerful finite element analysis tools are all there. Safety factor, stress, strain, displacement, and because we have an adaptive mesh, visual confirmation of convergence graphs. As this design is intended to be vehicle mounted, avoiding resonance with an idling motor is an important consideration in addition to static stress. Modal frequency analysis will enable designers the insight to avoid such mistakes. Because the constraints and loads are the same in this case, let's reuse the last definitions by clicking and dragging between studies. After a quick mesh generation and solve, we are presented with the results. Animations help visualize this and each additional mode shape calculated. In this case, there are eight for us to peruse. Mass participation and insight into the system response is also readily available. By using simulation in Fusion 360, it's easy to understand when a design needs to be strengthened or when it has been over-engineered, both undesirable end results, but difficult to balance without information. Now you can use Fusion 360 to get the information required to optimize your designs. Man, that was some cool stuff that we just saw in simulation. Uh, what else do we have to, to, to show? Well, this next today? stuff is going to help you collaborate better and manage your data. First, we have a new UI for our A360. So where your data is stored, you can now see other related data or see the parent-child relationships. Right, I like the new look. It's pretty slick. Yeah, and then also we have live reviews. So me and you can collaborate when you're in Mexico and I'm here and I'm just <laughs> hanging out and you're on the beach. You could see as I make design changes, you could actually see real time what's happening. Man, I don't have any vacation time saved up yet. <laughs> let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and jump into A360. We now have a new A360 experience, which will help users manage their data and collaborate more efficiently. This new experience can be opted in by going to the web address on the screen. In this new experience, we can see parent-child relationships. We can also examine the drawings created and whether the drawing is using the most recent version of the design. We can see the conversation history, which usually happens between multiple email threads through various stakeholders. It appears we need to take a look at the simulation results. In this new experience, we can see the data created in the design, such as the FEA simulation results. We can open the results and view them in any web browser. We can see that our minimum factor of safety does not meet our design requirements. Imagine you want to weigh your opinion on a design while traveling. You can open up a web browser and view the FEA results and make sure the design meets your design requirements. Now we need to consult with my customer to see what we would like to change to meet the design requirements. 
Right inside Fusion, I could start a live review session to invite my customer to be able to collaborate on design changes. I can invite other stakeholders by simply sending them a link. They can view my Fusion application as I make changes to the design. When convenient, I could give other stakeholders the driving capabilities so that they can manipulate the model. As they pan, zoom, and rotate, I can see what part they are referring to for the design change. Now I am ensured that I am making the change to the right shaft, instead of going back and forth through emails and images to make sure I am making the correct design change. Now I can take the presenter role and make the required change to meet the design requirements. As I make the design change, my other stakeholders can see the changes that are being made. This new tool will truly help teams collaborate on design changes without having to invest in expensive screen sharing applications. Now that we've made the design change to the shaft, I need to rerun the study to ensure that the design changes meet the design requirements. Fusion 360's unified workspaces allow me to jump back into the study without having to set up my simulation again. Luckily, Fusion 360 saves all of the setup that Aaron has previously done. In this case, I can just rerun the simulation and find the results from the study with the design change we made in the live review session. Now we will have to document the design change. I can see in the new A360 experience that we have a drawing that does not reflect the most recent design change. We can view the overview of the drawing and open the drawing in Fusion 360. We can quickly update the drawing with the most recent changes. In the most recent update of Fusion 360, we have added center marks and center lines to drawings to be able to dimension to features that aren't clearly defined. We can quickly add center marks by selecting circular edges. Now we can add center lines by selecting two edges and Fusion 360 will place a center line between the selected edges. Finally, I need to create an assembly drawing and a bill of materials. Next, I'm going to add some balloons to call out several components. With the September update of Fusion 360, we can now reorder the balloons and the bill of materials will automatically update. In addition, we can align the balloons to clean up the appearance of our drawing. Man, those enhancements are going to help my team collaborate way more efficiently when we're distributed across the world. What do we got coming up next, Aaron? Well, going with uh, efficiency in mind, we're adding keyboard shortcuts. No way. Yeah, so in addition to the marking menu that I use every single day, I can start using both my hands to, to use the keyboard to get to those commands. It's so much faster. I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and check it out. Another feature you'll now find in Fusion 360 is just the first phase of keyboard shortcuts. Initiated from yet another suggestion from you, our users on IdeaStation, keyboard shortcuts can be used to use sketch tools, apply appearances, add common features like holes and fillets, and add joints and as-built joints, all in the goal of making Fusion users even more productive. I'm glad to see this IdeaStation proposal implemented, so keep them coming. Man, we just saw a lot of great enhancements coming to Fusion 360 this month. Now go ahead and check out the detailed list if you go to the help what's new when you're using Fusion 360. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff that we couldn't show you today. Uh, check out the step-by-step -step tutorials for, for the new simulation functionality. And for those of you who haven't even tried Fusion yet, what are you waiting for? Go to autodesk.com forward slash Fusion 360 to try it today. <laughs>